Hey everybody, we're going to revisit uh, my use of this wonderful machine to fix my car and I'll show you, give you an update, okay? Here we go. First, I'm going to take the plug, plug it into the port underneath my steering wheel. Then as it lights up, I'm going to let it gather all the codes. engine and the ABS system. Again we turn on the ignition uh, just so that the electrical is on and then we plug it in and it goes through its system here. We arrow down to Chevrolet. Is this your vehicle? Yes. Yes it is. Fuel level sensor circuit is high voltage. That means that the fuel level sensor is basically broken, but that's a common thing in some Chevrolet Uplanders and Chevrolets. Um, I am going to go to DTC. No, actually, let's. I'll show you how to erase this. I'm going to click the erase button. This this wonderful red one with a kind of eraser looking thing. Hit it. Erasing clears all DTCs freeze frame data and resets. Are you sure? Yes. Boom. Erase was successful. Press any key. Okay. Now I think it's going to recheck. No powertrain DTCs or freeze frame data. Now there's a bunch of reds that are popping up here. And that's going to be an entirely different video because I don't want to waste your time. I am going to, however, go down and check my ABS. I'll have another video explaining what each one of those small red blinking lights was all about. Okay, guys? No ABS DTCs. Now, as I shared in a previous video, I had two wheel bearings that were out, my front left and my front right, and they showed up here in the ABS DTCs. Now what's interesting about the Uplander and other Chevy products is that they integrate the speed sensor which feeds information to your cruise control uh, from the bearing itself. It's built into the bearing which means you have to replace the bearing. Well it looks like I ran out of space. I just want to say thank you for watching my other videos and I think you guys are awesome. Alright, have a great day and uh, let's save some money together. Bye bye.